All right guys, so quickly gonna show you how to mesh some particles using the Bifrost graph editor today. So just gonna create a disc, scale that up a bit, pull it up here, and I'm gonna create a cube. Uh, let's just scale that out, scale it along. A little bit too big, sir. All right, there we go, perfect. All right, so it's gonna go create new graph. Delete the input, because our input is the disc, so we're gonna drag the disc in here it's gonna give us a bit more screen space. Pull back a bit. All right, there's our disc. That's gonna be our emitter, and then let's just drag down the collider, leave that down there. All good. Right, so hit tab. Gonna start typing particles, and we're gonna get a basic particles graph. Gonna put that there, right click, go to explode. Here's our particles. Right, so first thing first, we wanna stick our mesh into our geometry because <coughs> that's gonna be our emitter, and it's asking for the geometry and I'm just gonna pull this out to the output so we can see particles are actually turning up on there and if I play, we're getting a bunch of particles. No collisions happening as yet. So we've got our, our cube for the collisions. There is, a, inside the simulate particles node, there is a collider's um, port open for us, but we can't just directly ram that into there. It needs to know it's a collider, so we're gonna go tab to start typing collider. Uh, there we are. So mesh into collider, and then collider into colliders. Um, just get these bad boys over here, and I think I'm just gonna right click when they're selected and create a backdrop. Let's do this, no, I'm not, not gonna do these yet. Um, so yeah, if I rewind and play now, we should have collisions. There we go. And obviously inside the collider, we've got a whole bunch of different properties that we can play around with, bounciness, friction, roughness, yada, yada, yada. Um, but we're not here for that. So now we've got simulate particles. So the first thing we want to do now is we want to mesh this, okay? Um, but you can't just create a mesh straight off the bat. You have to work out where the volume is, give it a height field, and then put it through a mesh up. You'll see. So we're going to do something called points to level set. Get that bad boy in. So it's going to take our points and create store their information in here uh, and create a height field for us. Um, nothing's gonna happen until we plug it into there. This isn't the end of it, but I'm just showing you, you can get some feedback about how the mesh is gonna look like this. It won't, I don't think it render, it's, it's a height field. So if I rewind and play now, the particles should've got a funny color. There we go. So as they start to drop, if we just, um, change the radius scale on this to say like 0.2 and we'll give it a second to think about it and then rewind and play we'll start to get some kind of meshing going on you know, as you can see that it's happening it's starting to mesh around it it's happening people um, we can increase the amount of particles that we got going on by going into the source particles and we'll up the rate to about a thousand um, obviously we want to um, create more particles for sort of a better looking mesh um, there we go you can see the sort of meshing a bit more now All right I'm not going to go into creating a really dense heavy mesh this is just to show you how this is done so the next thing we want to do is create a mesh R, um, so we need a volume to mesh little dude and we're going to take this put it into there and that put it into there and then thankfully nothing's gone red and given us any scary warnings um, so I should be able to run this hit play um, and it should start to mesh correctly just unselect that there we go so now we are meshing so if we wanted to add a um, actually let's just tidy up a little bit here let's keep all our particle stuff and keep you there I'm just gonna drag a selection right click and create a backdrop gonna get a disc over here and so we've got a volume to mesh there so if I want to create a material now um, first thing we need is an assign assign material 
stick that in there and then we need to get the hype shade open and we need to get in a AI standard shader you can use any shader I believe but um, I'm just going to drag in a standard shader and I'm just going to middle mouse drag that into the Bifrost graph now let's get rid of this it's alright Bifrost is just thinking about the shader that's coming right so now shader wise we want to put this into the surface material and this may seem a little bit weird but you want to take the out mesh from the volume to mesh into the geometry and then the geometry into the output so we create a nice little daisy chain come on think about it right okay so now we want to go into our shader let's just rewind the simulation play let it do a little bit of simulating that'll be enough for me just to show you that we can change the colors here here okay so now we've got some nasty color going on um, and that will indeed render um, can make it a little bit more metallic or whatever so if I just go Arnold light area light just scale that up bring that up here put it there it's just to show you that it works just gonna fire up the Arnold viewport render this usually takes a minute to get going so we're nearly finished all I'm going to do now is expand this graph it out because it's also like in its infancy at the moment and everyone's trying to learn it um, it's good for you to have a, get a proper look at these graphs um, let's just get exposure up as we can see is rendering lovely jubbly all right so let's stop that that's all done let's get rid of this and I'm just going to pull up the graph editor here maximize it for you so that you can have a look and come back and use it as reference um, to see how I've set this up how this works so we've got the emitter which is a disc going into our uh, what was basic particles um, just put a little backdrop on them um, we've also started by creating points to level set okay so particles into points then we create the volume to mesh so that's level set into volume um, and you can just output that straight to the output but we decided to assign a material so we took the out mesh into the geometry section of the assigned material and then piped that back into the output and that my friends is that so enjoy go and create stuff cheers